Okay, our uh, new friends from X Laser Labs sent us this machine to try out and show, and we said that we would show the welding and uh, cleaning and uh, cutting and features. Okay, I was pushing the wrong button. Simple enough. Okay, there she is. There is my first laser weld. I did that. Okay, welding is no fun if we don't put something together. So let's put something together. Let's see. I would say I'm missing there I'm more in the groove. It is a little weld. The easy way to break it is against the weld. It would be unrealistic to pretend that any weld, um, you know, it is going to break this way. That's pretty strong. You know, I see a lot of people, you, you're trying to break against the weld or you weld it on double sides. Well, that's so strong, you're not going to break it with your hands. But uh, that was uh, stuck together pretty good. And 100% penetration on this piece. I didn't have my aiming quite right, so it wasn't all the way underneath. I haven't had it for several years, but we had a job where we had to keep welding these. Uh, in fact, that's what this particular stainless is left over from that job. We had to weld stainless plates onto mild steel tubing for a little bit of an extra thickness. It was just a shim filler that they wanted welded in. And we had terrible trouble on that job because however we welded them, um, the warpage, the stainless would just pull away from the rest of the steel. Terrible. Oops. <laughs> you pay attention to where you're going. Kind of feel it and let it feed. And then look for the direction of where you're trying to go. See if it's getting in there. I don't know that it's the machine for everything you want to weld, everything you want to do, but for a non-warping stainless, that's pretty impressive. There's a few things like that stainless going on to that mild steel there, the lack of warping. Um, I think it would be beautiful for that. I think it would have saved the day on that job that we used to fight with.